good afternoon and here we are back in the Mango Man Homestead Orchard and this is our coconut cream that we cut down. Um, I don't remember how long ago, I'd say two months ago, maybe right around there. And to recap, the reason we cut down the coconut cream is it's not doing what we need it to do for us. It's not staying small enough, staying productive, so we're top working it to another variety. So what I have here is this is a bud stick of a Juliet, and you can look at it right here. I already have it wrapped in parafilm. This is a very nice bud stick. You have two buds getting ready to push out right there, so it's perfect. I've already selected my three shoots on this, one, two, three, that I'm going to graft. I'm gonna cut break off the leaves out of the way. I'm going to take my knife. I am going to split this open. When you're doing top works like this, it's uh, everything is very easy. It's growing very rapidly. So it's, it's all, um, in theory, everything should work very, very well. So I make my cuts on my, on my scion, like that, okay, you can see right there my cuts down there, make it into a wedge, I take that and I push it in there. Now, the rootstock's a little bit bigger than the scion was, so I pushed it to one side, I lined up one side. Uh, that's typical of the best way to do it. Um, it's better to at least line up one of the sides if they're not the same width, your scion and your rootstock. But um, again, with everything being so, uh, so um, um, tender and growing well, I think it's gonna work quite well either way. So now I'm making the second one. Take off that leaf. Another nice bud stick. A little short, but um, the reason I only am grafting three of these shoots is I have our Juliet trees are very small, and I don't want to take a lot of budwood off. So again, this one the rootstock is wider than the uh, than the scion, so I push it to one side. I'm wrapping these with parafilm. Um, parafilm at this stage, the parafilm will be, uh, the rootstock will try to push this parafilm open and you have to keep an eye sometimes. Maybe come in here to, uh, and rewrap them because again, these, this rootstock is expanding very quickly. Now the third, one that I just cut is a much smaller one, much smaller uh, shoot. And so it's going to line up with, without having to be pushed to the side. Okay, just made my cuts right there again. You can see, nice cuts. Um, you noticed also when I was making my cuts, uh, one motion, I'm not whittling at them. I am uh, deliberate. Everything is measured and deliberate. That's the big secret with grafting. I get my another piece of parafilm here. Take that parafilm, wrap it around like this. Okay. Very good. Now, once you get that done, Okay, snap that one in place like that. Okay, now I have three grafts grafted on here. Um, I'm not gonna graft anymore because again, I don't have a lot of budwood, but I will leave the other shoots so that they can come along and grow, uh, grow up in case these don't live. I fully expect these to live. Um, I'm really not that concerned about it, but you know, things happen, they could die, and then we need to regraft them. So we'll do that, we'll regraft them. Again, this is a Juliet. We're taking this coconut cream. Now this coconut cream is gonna be a Juliet. 
the other coconut cream, which is right over there, um, that coconut cream, it, you can see the trunk and it's just re-sprouting. That one is going to be a nectar of, Neb Neb <laughs> nectar of Neptune. Um, but it's not ready to graft yet. So when it is, we will, um, we will get onto it and get that one grafted. So there you go. Coconut cream going to a Juliet grafted here. Today is the 4th of September and um, I think we'll have good success. So good growing and we'll talk to you next time.